Google Calendar and Google Tasks are excellent quick capture tools that can keep you organized and aware of your schedule and to-do list. Access both by typing calendar.google.com or using the Google Waffle to quick link to calendar and then make sure you bookmark this page. My calendar is currently displaying month view, which you can use this button right here to change from month to week to day. There are many different organizational apps, but Google is one of the most connected and most used, which gives you several advantages. For example, if you want all the blue, white, and silver days noted on your calendar along with school days off, you would need to enter that information on your own into most apps. However, if another user like me has already created it in Google Calendar, you can simply add my calendar to yours. To do this, visit the RV homepage and click more events in the calendar link to the right. At the very top of the calendar, you'll see a link to the blue, white, silver calendar. Once opened, click the add to calendar button in the lower right. This works for any calendar that someone has created and made public in Google Calendar. Many of your teachers and coaches use Google Calendar, so it can save you a lot of time if you do too. Here's one of our sports calendars. If I'm on the team, I can just add that calendar to my Google Calendar with a click and all the events will automatically add and update. After you add a calendar, you'll see it listed in the other calendars section, along with all of the other calendars you have added or those that have been created for you by Google Classroom. To hide any calendars that you no longer need, click the three dots next to a calendar's name and choose hide from list. To temporarily hide events on a calendar, uncheck it in your list and rechecking it brings those events back into view. Also, you can change the default color of a calendar by selecting the three dots and choosing a new color tile or a new custom color. Your default calendar with your name is listed first, and this is the calendar you should use when adding events and reminders. To use Google Calendar to track your assignments, I recommend noting when things are due, not when they're assigned. For example, if your math homework is due Friday, click on Friday's due date and quick add it. I do not think times are super helpful or necessary for assignments, so I'm just going to add the block number in front of it so my assignments list in the order of my classes. Use the description field to add more details as necessary. Choose Save or View More options to see or add notifications. I'm going to add a reminder one day before my math homework is due at 4 p.m. or whatever time after school you typically do your homework. Save when you're done. If you haven't done so already, you will be prompted to allow Chrome to notify you. Make sure you agree to this, although I am betting that most of you will rely more heavily on phone notifications. To avoid having to add reminders for each and every assignment, click the three dots next to your default calendar, choose Calendar Settings, and scroll to the Event Notification area. I'm going to add a notification for my all-day events. You can also increase the notification time for events that are not all day. Your changes are saving automatically. You just need to use this arrow to return to your calendar view. Let's create a time-specific event that repeats. Simply type the time in the quick add box and Google automatically adjusts the start and end times for you. To make it repeat, I'll select more options and use the drop-down menu to set up a custom recurrence. If I have practice on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, I'll choose those dates. And if I know when practice is going to end for the semester, I would enter it, or I'm just going to leave it set as never for now. Click Done, and then Save. When you click on an event, the details appear, and Google will often add a decorative banner based on keywords like soccer in this example. If practice gets canceled on Wednesday, I can easily just click delete and delete this event. Or if practice or an assignment gets moved, I can just drag and drop it to the new date. When soccer season ends, say in May, I'll just go to the first day that I need to cancel practice and delete it 
and choose to delete all following events, which basically turns off the recurrence. I will click today to return back to this month. Events are color-coded based on the default calendar's color, but you can change a specific event's color to draw more attention to it. Just click on the event, click Edit, change the color. Or simply right-click on any event to change its color. Another great feature in Calendar is its ability to search. If you want to locate something fast, simply search for it, and all of your calendars are searched. These light gray events are events that happened in the past, and these are upcoming, so I can quickly see when finals are happening this semester. Instead of simply knowing when something is happening, I know a lot of you prefer to have a to-do list, and clicking Tasks in the right panel brings up that tool. Simply type what you want to put on your to-do list. If you want to include a date, click the pencil and enter a date. When you're done with the task, simply check it off your list and it moves to the completed bin. You can use these three dots to delete your completed tasks if you want to. This side-by-side -side task view of your to-do list and your calendar is a great view on your browser. And any of your to-dos that you assign a date to automatically appear on your calendar in a special area called tasks. This side-by-side -side view, however, is not available on the mobile app yet. So for me, I typically note most things on my actual calendar, but you can experiment with both tasks and calendar to see how you like to use each. Speaking of mobile, let's take a look at the app. Even though you can easily integrate Google Calendar into the native calendar apps on your phones, downloading the Google Calendar app often helps the features work best. Here's what the mobile view looks like. I can add new events. Using something like Google Calendar to capture both your homework and your extracurricular and personal activities gives you a better picture of your week. For example, if your Thursday evening is jam-packed with events, you know you need to set aside more time Wednesday night or Thursday during ICE to do the homework that you would typically do on Thursday night. The purpose of a quick capture system is to get things out of your head and into a reliable external system as quickly as possible. These systems work great if you commit to immediately adding items to your calendar before you have a chance to forget them. So start a habit to record your to-dos and reminders as quickly as possible, and then get into the habit of regularly checking your calendar or quick capture tool so it's actually able to effectively remind you.